Hi, this is going to be a brief tutorial on using Aztec. I know this is a new program to most of the teachers. This is what we're exclusively using with the online only class. And most of the students, literally 99% of them who are using it for supplemental use have also been set up on Aztec as well. And the reason for the switch, there's a lot better customer service with this company as well as the curriculum really helped prepare the online students in last spring semester to pass their high set subject exams quicker than the essential ed program. So I am excited to have all of your students join the Aztec program and study and see what they think. Half the teachers probably, half of you have been set up on Aztec, especially if you have sent me students from your class who wanted to use it, I have set you up as a user. Those that are in the system already are set up as a student and a teacher so that you have the teacher privileges to uh, run the reports, see the student scores, things like that, but also you have access to particular classrooms if you want access to all of them all you have to do is let me know but especially for the levels that you are currently teaching you're set up to be able to go in and look at the curriculum and take some of the tests or whatever you want to do in it so that you know what your students are studying so I will be completely brief with that and go ahead and start with the tutorial so we're gonna log on to Aztec. It is very easy to get on. This is all we need. The ad address up here you can see is nextgen.aztecsoftware.com. You don't need anything beyond that uh, for an identifier. If you are in the system, I've already sent you your login information. I use the same password for everyone. And that was a suggestion by Ryan Uren with um, Aztec uh, oh, about a year and a half ago when I first went to some training. Um, so I set everyone up with the same password. If the students want to change it, they're welcome to do that. However, um, I won't have access to their information if they change it. So it's just easier if we just leave it all the same. Um, all you have to do is click login. That's gonna show up on my site. So I have the admin rights and we'll see a little bit more than you guys will. So I'm going to start, if you have a particular student that you want to check in on, we go to admin center first, or yours will look like class center first, I believe. I'm going to choose Sue Chillis since she was the one that worked with me and of course is not here anymore. So her account is pretty much a dummy account now. I am going to masquerade as her. Masquerading is Aztec's jargon for going into specific student's account or specific person's account. So when Sue logged in, this was her dashboard, the main page that she saw. The active classes that I had her enrolled in were the Accuplacer Foundations, which we use actually quite a bit for math. Um, some of the level one language arts students are in foundations as well. This is our lowest level. Um, then there's the pre-HSE, that's the next to the highest level, and then prep solutions, which is the highest level of study. Once they pass all of the lessons here in the prep solutions, and there's a practice test on it that I'll show you here in a moment as well, um, that is very good and very preparatory, then they definitely know they are ready to take the official practice test. And if they can pass the practice test here on prep solutions, there shouldn't be an issue with them passing the, the official practice test. So if we go into prep solutions, say your students are assigned to that, this is where they will start out. 
Um, now the time accumulation here is not great yet. I would love to see that uh, improved. They will have a new beta site coming out um, hopefully next month to improve a lot of things and this time tracking will be real time and not just updated twice a day. So this is kind of a problem sometimes, but since it's mostly supplemental use for you teachers, it's not as big of an issue. So learning plan is what you want to click on next. This is where all of the subjects are going to show up. And this is another thing that will be changed as well. The practice tests, um, these are the ones that I was telling you about a little earlier. They will be going to a different tab which will be great because a lot of students don't realize that these are for after you've finished the, all the units as opposed to taking them first. So it's not a problem if they take them first, I can reset them really easily, um, but they take them and then they kind of freak out a little bit because it's a cumulative test. So whatever subject your student wants to start with, you click on it, readings first, we'll just click on it. These are the units, there are four units in reading. You click on the first one, and then the box that pops up to the right, these are all the lessons. Uh, of course, I always recommend them take the pre-test first because they might score high enough on supporting ideas to be able to waive it and not have to take those, um, those lessons. So it's totally up to you as a teacher if you want them to take that. Um, but I always do recommend taking the post-test because that's to see how much they retained. Um, writing is set up a little differently. They have two units with several lessons and then developing the essay is um, the last unit. This particular entry right here, essay test, this is where they will practice their argumentative essay. So, those of you who are teaching language arts, you will be set up as um, a grader, an essay grader, and there will be notifications. As you can see, here's three essays that are have been submitted ready to view and grade. Um, the teachers do have to grade their own essays if you want them to practice online. There is not a designated grader through Aztec as the experienced with essential ed. Um, but that's not a bad thing either because you have the ability to go through and read everything that they have submitted to make sure that it is up to your standards of what you're teaching. Math, um, one thing that I think is extremely helpful with this because there's a lot of lessons, they really do break it down very easy. It's one topic at a time. It seems like a whole lot of lessons and a little overwhelming, but it's really not that bad. They just have it separated by title. So the good thing about this is that if you have a student that misses a class and you were studying linear equations, you can tell them to go into Aztec and do the linear equations lesson and that will help give them an idea of what material was covered in class. Um, now, how specific it is to exactly what you're teaching, I don't know, but because I have also set you up to be a student, you have the ability to go in here and take the lessons or at least view the questions. And it will talk to you. Solve one variable or you can turn it off and mute it. So totally up to you. Uh, exit out of that. So um, it's very much like uh, the other program that we're used to. It has audio as well, but you can turn it off. Um, the social studies and science classes are only in the prep solutions class, but there is a breakdown that is available. Um, it's all been set up separately. So if a student only wants science or only wants social studies, I can set them up for just that particular subject and that's all they will have access to. If you wanna look at your student scores, 
you hit the scores tab. Now there's nothing that has been completed in here, but any test that they have will tell you the date, what the name of it was, and their percentage score, and then it will tell them um, how prepared they are as well. You have also been set up as a, um, to be able to run reports. Oh, here it is right there, school reports. So if you want to check up on how long any of your students have been working in Aztec, I send a report uh, that's on, sent on Friday morning uh, because my reporting period goes from um, midnight, late Thursday night, early Friday morning until 11.59 the following Thursday night. I turn those in to Tammy on Friday mornings. And so that's when she does all the updates and has it ready for Monday morning. Um, so those reports are sent in to Tammy because we report those to uh, Career Tech. However, if you wanna find out how long they've been spending, you can either go by tag. Now you will have to separate them all out. I apologize if we do this supplemental, that's gonna be all of the students that are with the supplemental tag. Um, it would be an absolute nightmare through the system if I separated them out by teacher. So I put them all in a supplemental for the one report. Or you can search by student's name and you can add as many students as you want onto that student search. Okay, um, and then you also want to always click check all um, because that will provide information for everything that they have um, worked on in Aztec. Uh, you can either do day intervals. I always do a custom range because it goes by calendar. So since we start on Fridays and well, actually we'll go to the 7th and end on the 13th, that was this most recent reporting period. And then class or quiz set, you wanna select them all because just in case they worked in writing and social studies or math and science, you wanna make sure you can capture all of their time. And then we're going to scroll down and click generate. Oops, I got, I didn't get that clicked. Let's start it again. Here we go. Generate. Hmm. And actually I'm gonna, because of the names, let me click online only as well. Now, all of these will pop up. You do not have to X them all out. They will go away. Notifications, you see the bubble came up. This is where our reports show up. And then you can click on it from here. And it tells all the students that I clicked in that time period who has logged in time. So we'll go back to the admin center. The unfortunate thing right now as well is that the back button, the back arrow up here does not work um, like we would hope. So we have to keep clicking on the tabs each time. Another report you might be interested in is the student attendance. You can click on it. This will tell you the exact days and time they logged in and time they logged out. Um, for the time on task, which is what I'm required to report. If they take notes or if they go back and rewind it and watch it a lot, um, the clock does not continue to um, log their time if they pause too long. So if they're on their phone or watching TV or again, taking notes for too long, then the clock is going to stop. So sometimes if you require them to um, get on here for a certain amount of time, which I do my online students, then it, there's a learning curve to it to figure out how long you actually have to sit there and how hooked up you have to be in order to get a certain amount of time logged in. 
this attendance report will tell you exactly how long they logged in. Now, some of that will not be active time. Um, so this report is good just to find out how many days during the week that they go and log in. So if you assigned them a certain lesson or if you want to go and see on the day that they were um, absent from math class that they went and did the integers um, lesson like you requested, um, you can go in and see if they did it that day or the next or at all. So that is the main function um, for reports that you would use is just to find um, how long or whether or not they logged in. I'll give you a quick pre-HSE look. This learning plan, it is only reading, writing, and mathematics. Now, um, what determines what level they are put in or what classroom is they're called, um, that they're put in is their orientation CASAS goals test scores. Um, those are normed and I have a list um, that's provided by Aztec that um, has a breakdown of what um, level each student should be placed in or is most appropriate according to their, their uh, CASAS goals scores. So that's how they are determined. So some of the students in a level one class might be in pre-HSE and some of them actually might be in um, the foundations Let's see, dashboard. That's where you find it. So um, everybody's a little bit different and that's how it's um, determined. Now, once they finish all of the lessons in one of these uh, classrooms, then the teacher can open up the next level. So once they finish foundations, um, if you don't want to do this, I, it's a little bit cumbersome to put everyone in. That's the reason I take that off your plate and have you email me their email information and um, put them in there for you because it is a little bit burdensome. So all you have to do is let me know when the student has told you, hey, I've done all the lessons, what do I do next? I'll be more than happy to go in and assign the next um, classroom higher so that they have additional lessons to study. So that is the meat and potatoes of Aztec. Um, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to call me, email me, text me, whatever form of contact you have for me. Um, I have I answer questions at all times of the day and the evening, so never hesitate. I'll be happy to walk you through it. Um, in the emails that I send your students, there is a remind group um, that is set up just for them called Ads Tech Support, and I provide the uh, class code so that they can join it if they choose. If not, that's fine too, but they always have access to me as well through Remind. So if there are any additional questions, please do not hesitate to uh, contact me and I will answer them and we can make it happen. All right, um, I appreciate you uh, being willing to listen to me and I will uh, hopefully see you all soon, thank you.